My research is focused on identifying risk factors for cancers in women. So as an epidemiologist, I'm really focused on prevention of disease as well as early detection. I have some interest in understanding biomarkers that we can collect from you know, from tissue or from saliva samples and trying to understand if those are different in people who have early stages of cancer versus people who have no signs of disease. And so that's one example of, of the type of work that I do. But I would say that the majority of my work really tries to you know, understand risk factors for disease. I don't work with patients or in a lab, although working with other scientists that work in laboratories is really important for my work. It's sort of like being a detective. You're trying to figure out what the causes of something are and with really the end goal to be helping people. When you're on a team and you have to be able to communicate with people and lead people, I think, I think it really translates into doing effective research. I mean, no one does research on their own anymore. We, we work in teams just because nobody has all of the expertise that's needed. So it's really a collaborative job. And so I think that participating in teams and clubs when you're younger it just gives you that experience to, to work with people. I did my undergraduate at Johns Hopkins, and when I started there, it was actually pre-med, but then I took a public health course and I was immediately attracted to public health and epidemiology. I then went to the University of Michigan where I earned an MPH or a Master of Public Health in Epidemiology, and then I went on to the University of Pittsburgh where I earned a PhD in Epidemiology. So in terms of my interest in cancer, uh, when I was doing my master's, I had an opportunity to do a project in Egypt where we looked at risk factors for bladder cancer. It was my first exposure to cancer research and it was very obvious how important of a disease it was. I think it's really important that we have really great medical doctors, but I think that that paradigm of you know seeing patients when they're sick and then trying to treat them, I think that's great, but I, I also really believe in prevention. And I think that if we can understand causes of disease and we can prevent the disease, I think that that's um, a good strategy as well.